to achieve their goals and to share what Benny Yu has with the world. So from Kentucky, I want to introduce you to the Hintons, Tim and Kara Hinton. Stop. 
So at the top of that, you matter. There's our first word. It's right at our first stop. You matter. You have to attend for yourself. I learned this from one of my dear friends who's with another business. She would always show up on our event table. She would start asking questions, and she would shop the event, and she would be at the event, and I thought, why isn't she here sharing at the event? What I didn't realize is how smart she was. She doesn't get distracted by the shiny flyers and the first year events. She takes time to attend for herself and see if it's gonna be worth her value to be there. Next, you have to select for yourself. All right, it's my favorite thing. A coordinator posts an event and I'm totally gonna question her. That's my time to ask the questions. If she ever tells me when I ask her what the advertising is and she says, I got that, I am certainly not doing that event. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid. This is your money. Ask as many questions about that event before you commit to it that you want. Two of our favorite websites that we've never been steered wrong from when it comes to event are craftmasters.com and festival.net. Craftmasters.com and festival.net. Third, you've got to commit to yourself. You see, you've got five seconds as they walk back that 10 by 10 booth or that 20 by 10 booth to make an impact or an influence on that shop. Five seconds. That's pretty fast. So commit to yourself not to be afraid to take advantage of those self. five seconds. Last, you have to invest in yourself. Guys, this is baby steps. Tim and I didn't start out doing $250 events. We started out doing free events. You got it. It was a nursing home. He called me as soon as I got off the school bus and said, get that set up together. We're going to the nursing home tonight. And I said, do what? What set up? We haven't bought it I'm yet. an emerald. Everything has to make sense. I have to plan it out. We're doing what? And so we did. But it made sense. It was free. And everything was just my time. I also told Tim, and the reason we started free is because I was like, nobody is ever going to buy health and wellness from us. <laughs> but we're in shape. Round is a shape. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all are in trouble. <laughs> I live with this every day. But most importantly, above all else, you have to prepare yourself. Mr. Joe Melling, who I look up to, said it last night. You have to commit to grow and spend time on yourself reading if you really want to go someplace. Prepare yourself. Spend time reading, growing. We've done it in the last 12 months, and I tell you what, guys, it's been the biggest blessing of our lives. All right, next stop. I only brought one. Yeah, you're really going to get fired. This stop is where I like to say the rubber meets the road. All right, do you remember that quote? How many words did I ask you to write down? That's right. Everyone hold up two fingers for me. You didn't know I was gonna make you be participate and be awake this morning. All right, Tim, you're gonna to have to let me geek out for a second and do my number thing. <laughs> All right. Those two fingers are what we want you to be. A two percenter. A two percenter. Now, what does that mean, Kara? 98% of adults disvalue themselves and find an excuse not to talk to people or build a relationship. 
Don't be that 98%. Be a 2%er. Will you promise us that? It's hard. I get it. Be a 2%er. I think those powerhouse girls shirt really meant something to me last night. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just be a 2%er and just go get it. All right. So your story is your brand. We've said it a million times. So there's four F words. I promise Dave I'll keep this PG. <laughs> there's four F words that I want you to remember. The first one is focus. All right, that's that two percenter. They walked into your booth to learn about you. you remember that elevator pitch that Miss Connie told you to get? Now's your chance to share it. Focus on you for two minutes and just be a two percenter. Next, you gotta find. This is when it comes to prospecting and closing. When someone's actually in your booth, after you've got it all set up, this is the after. First you focus, then you find. You have to identify the problem. Nobody is perfect. Not even him. Yes, I know. <laughs> Knew that was coming out, knew it. We planned, so he was like, I was like, we need to tell you what to say. He's like, nope, I'm just gonna say what I want. <laughs> We don't plan anything. We really, I do. Next, you have to fill. All right, honesty check. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Honesty check. You don't have to raise a hand. Just for yourself. How many of you have ever run out of leads in your business? You just get to a point and you're dead stopped. I'll be honest, in front of all of you, I have. But you know when it changed for us? It changed for us. We started the lead with how I can benefit you. How can you benefit them? We have some pretty amazing products that fill a lot of needs. Those sticks, yeah, they're our passion. We live them every day. And we found that if we lead, with how they can benefit other people. We've never run out of leads. And last, it's my favorite F word. Flourish. You mean sign everybody up on Blue Box and retire, all right? His a solution for everything is Blue Box. It's okay. All right, flourish. So, here's what we do. Here's how we flourish. And at a vendor event, I will number my contact sheets one to 50, one to 100, pick your number, okay? Put them out on your table, and in the back, get you a piece of paper and list it one to 100 as well. They're in your booth, you're prospecting, you're following the four Fs, you're building a relationship. But you have to remember what you say to them. So write down your notes on their number. Then when you get home, you just continue to flourish that relationship that you already built, okay? I've learned over time in dealing with people that everybody wants a relationship. My son wants one, I want one. We all want relationships. And if we build our relationships strong enough, stories will come from them. Do you guys know where we go for our stories? Our personal customers? our friends, our family, and... What do you sell people? Improve. Improve. He's fired. It's early. Improve. There's not a day that goes by at an event that he doesn't pick out Improve and share it with somebody. Because once those customers build their stories, that's free advertisement, guys. So we have a question. What experience are you bringing to the public at your events? Are you bringing value? Are you bringing your story? And are you bringing your brand? All right, let's go to the next stop. We're almost there, I promise. Hang in with us, guys. 
Our bus is almost full, but we've got to get this last stop. And it's my favorite one. Gems matter. We're gonna grow here, guys. We're gonna really challenge you to boost your self-confidence and build the relationship with those gems that you have. So by a show of hands, who knows they're an emerald? Who knows they're a ruby? Gotcha, y'all can hang with him. <laughs> who knows they're a pearl? And are anybody sapphires? If you've never taken the personality test by Danny Johnson, you should, it's pretty amazing. You'll grow by you learning the people that you have in your pipeline. If you're a gem, you can hang with me all day long. We're about statistics. Everything has to matter. It has to be planned out. There has to be spreadsheets. It has to all make sense. If you're a Ruby, you can hang out with Tim. <laughs> you have fun. friends. <laughs> Tim's a Ruby because he promised me one thing. He would always Leave the cave, kill it, and drag it home. Yep. He'd always leave the cave, kill it, and drag it home. He just gets it done. He doesn't care how he gets it done. So that's a ruby. Pearls, you want to save the whales. You don't care about, just care about people. And finally, sapphires, you're the life of the party. I spent lots of time with you guys this weekend. <laughs> guys, once you master these gems and the people that you have in your pipeline, and the relationships that you've built with those contacts, you're unstoppable. Trust us, you're unstoppable. All right, so I'm an Emerald. Let's talk through some statistics really quick. 71% of leads are never followed up. Think about this. 71 out of 100 times four events times 12 months is 3,408 people that you let slip through your business because you are a statistic, not a two percenter. I'll say it again, 71 people out of 100 times four events a month times 12 months is 3,408 people. That number scared the daylights out of me. All right, we have found these are the best times for me to reach people. Wednesday to Thursday, four to six, and Tuesday and Friday, eight to nine. I'm not saying it's gonna work for you, but personally, this is when I try to reach people. 98% of texts are returned. Do you answer a text versus a phone call? Of course you do. And 96% of people who invest in personal development always boost their self-confidence. Again, do you notice those numbers, 98, 96? Be a two percenter. So our three stops. And I'll end with a quote. You value your life. How do you maximize events, Kara? You value your life. The sooner you focus and work harder on you than you do anyone else in your life, you will become unusually successful. You value your life. I don't have any quick changes. I don't have any master plans. I don't have any way we've been done events great other than we've always valued our life and what we were bringing to that hour. But what is your value? So Tim asked me, what is my value of life? Wow, that's a hard question. Um, let me tell you a story. Everybody do me a favor, raise those two fingers back up in the air. Today, you're gonna be our best stops. We're gonna stop at stop one. And I'm gonna bring this rock into you and this half of the room you're at a market, a busy marketplace, and you guys are gonna buy my rock for 
Just a little $2 rock. Hey, we have a $2 stick. That's a pretty big sale. But tomorrow, we're gonna go in, and the next stop is at a museum. And these people in the middle are gonna buy my rock for $200. I've taken my life from two to 200. Next week, I stop at that same stop, but now the building there is a precious gem store. And I take my rock in, and these people buy my rock for $200,000. It all comes down to this, guys. Don't put a value on your life of $2. When deep down inside, Bring it up. you're worth $200,000. You see, what matters most is where you place yourself. The people you surround yourself with and how you choose to carry yourself. You may be with friends that have always thought you were worth $2. Well, let me tell you what, Tim and I think you're worth 200000 Don't put a value on your life. Live it every day. We love you guys.